For this demo, I'll be going over the new templates feature in Business Central that was released in Wave 2 in 2021. This is the Microsoft documentation for this update. Uh, this outlines uh, the how to use the template. Um, you can see here that it's used for the customer, vendor, item, and employee lists. And so this goes through personalizing a customer template and adding the credit limit field here and then applying it to an existing customer or this can be applied to a new customer. Um, so to go over this, we can go to our customer templates. And so if I select customer 001 here, um, we can go ahead and personalize this screen. We can add a field here. And so we can apply these to this template. Um, in the example, they use credit limit, which I added already here. If we wanted, we could also add tax area code as well. Um, and then if you hit done, that'll save. For now, if we go ahead and specify a certain credit limit here, I'll go ahead and do 20,000. Um, if I apply this to a customer that has um, no credit limit uh, set, it'll go ahead and apply this 20,000 to it. So if I go ahead and go to our customers, This is the customer list. I can go ahead and apply that new template that I just edited to the screen by highlighting it and going to actions, apply template. And I can do that for multiple ones if I select multiple companies. But for now, we can also go directly into the customer card. And you can see the information here. We have a credit limit of zero. Um, our information already filled in. If I go here and go to actions, functions, then apply template, I can select that template we just edited, which is the second one here. And if I press OK, you'll see that that $20,000 of, of credit limit I specified gets applied to the customer card. And you'll notice that nothing else changed um, under the address or anything else here. Um, any field that's already filled in for an existing customer uh, will be unchanged um, of when you apply the template. Uh, anything that is not um, filled in will be applied with what is in the template. And so this works again for customer cards, vendor cards, um, items and employee records. Uh, this is a feature that functions very similar to uh, configuration templates. So if I pull that out here, you can see here that these are the templates that we saw previously, but uh, this is a little harder to work with. Um, it's not as easy to personalize and add and edit um, fields and then just apply them. So. This is the new Microsoft feature that makes that a little easier. Again, you just search for the templates immediately. If you go to vendor templates, there should be a screen for this. Um, we just did the customer ones, um, but there should also be employee and item templates.